This emergency, our night team coverage begins tonight with Emily Pritchard in Everett. Classes here in Everett are canceled until April 27th. The district saying now is the time to take action to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Kids won't return to Everett school campuses until almost May. The schools are in a small area for a lot of people. And the governor, the CDC, and the DPH have stated that people in a small area with more than 100 people should not do that. The district closing schools for 30 days. That's the longest cancellation in the state. And on the parents, excuse me, because they, you know, they have to make arrangements and stuff like that. But I think everything's being done for a reason. And hopefully maybe in a couple of months this thing will blow over and people will get back to their normal lives. Thursday was the last day for two weeks you could get business done inside Everett City Hall. It's now closed until March 30th. Many other schools heading into weeks-long closures. Wellesley Public Schools closing for two weeks. And it's just kind of crazy how quickly things spread. In Weston, the district says a student is showing coronavirus symptoms, but tests came back inconclusive. Schools there closed through March 18th. I know that there's a lot who are scrambling. In Salem, the high school closed after their principal traveled to France recently, but isn't showing symptoms. And three individuals in the Worcester public school system awaiting test results. Worcester schools closed tomorrow for cleaning. In Berkshire County, nine people have tested positive for coronavirus, but they haven't traveled or had contact with someone infected. There, it's also hit the hospital with staffing problems after employees were put on leave for possible contact with infected people. Governor Charlie Baker declared a state of emergency in Massachusetts, which helps. Under that executive order to put in place an emergency procedure that will make it possible for licensed out-of-state medical professionals and nurses to get licensed here in Massachusetts in one day. People are listening to health experts. Stay at home, especially the older people, and, you know, don't mingle so it doesn't spread as quick. With City Hall also closed here in Everett, they want to remind people you can do a lot of city business online, and you can call 311 if you need assistance. Reporting in Everett, Emily Pritchard, 7 News, 19. And breaking news in the coronavirus emergency, the Massachusetts Gaming Commission says someone who tested positive for the virus recently visited Encore Boston Harbor. The commission says the person was at the casino last Thursday but showed no symptoms. Encore says employees who had direct contact with the patient have been placed on paid leave. Coronavirus leading to closures across the country, both Disney World and Disneyland shutting down as the nation deals with the pandemic. Lawmakers, they're promising action. The 19's Eric Kane live in the newsroom tonight with the latest on that, Eric. Kiki, Speaker Pelosi says she has struck an agreement with the Trump administration on a coronavirus relief bill and an announcement and vote could happen as soon as tomorrow. Now, this news comes as Americans are already noticing the impacts the fight against the virus has had on their daily lives. Major disruptions across the United States as the country grapples with the fast-moving coronavirus pandemic. Cities like Seattle looking more like ghost towns, people told to work from home. Events canceled nationwide. The viral infection bringing down the curtain on Broadway in New York City, now under a state of emergency. And the happiest place and the most magical place on Earth, not immune to the rippling effects as both Disneyland in California and Disney World in Florida shut down. The uncertainty sending markets into a nosedive yet again. The Dow seeing its worst day since 1987, losing 10%. Amid the turmoil, President Trump urged calm from the White House. It goes away. It's going away. We want it to go away with very, very few deaths. Uh, people have, uh, you know, we call it cases. How many cases do you have? Well, relative to other countries, we have very few cases. Relative to certain of the of the major countries that really have a bigger problem than uh, us. But the United States has fallen behind other countries in aggressively testing for the virus. It is a failing. I mean, let's admit it. The okay. idea of anybody getting it easily the way people in other countries are doing it, we're not set up for that. Do I think we should be? Yes, but we're not. Federal health officials say widespread testing should be available within a week. Colorado already ahead of the curve with dozens of people waiting up to four hours Wednesday for drive-through testing. 
The virus reaching to top levels of world governments. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau self-isolating after his wife tested positive for the disease. And a Brazilian press secretary who met with President Trump over the weekend has tested positive for the coronavirus as well. The White House insists the president had little interaction with the official and doesn't need to be tested. And beginning tomorrow at midnight, the United States will suspend travel from 26 European countries. The United Kingdom is not included in that ban. Americans, though, will still be able to return home, but there will be new screenings when they come back. In the newsroom, Eric Kane, 7 News 19. The NCAA's uh, men's and women's basketball tournaments canceled because of the coronavirus. The organization also calling off all remaining winter and spring college sports. This decision coming as uh, several sports leagues suspended their seasons. The NCAA saying in a statement that reads in part tonight, this decision is based on the evolving COVID-19 public health threat. Our ability to ensure the events do not contribute to spread of the pandemic and the impracticality of hosting such events at any time during this academic year, given ongoing decisions by other entities. The Celtics are back in Boston after the NBA canceled the season. The team is in self-quarantine tonight after playing the Utah Jazz. Two players on the Jazz have tested positive for coronavirus. Here's more from the night team's Jonathan Hall. The Celtics back in Massachusetts and headed straight to quarantine. Center Robert Williams had a quick message. Hey, what did you say? Just before two, the team got off a Delta flight from Milwaukee and headed right into a private hangar. Then they got into cars waiting to take them back to Boston. A pandemic um, has hit the NBA. As early as the next two weeks to a month, you might start seeing the effects. Now we got all these people that might be getting sick. Smart. Takes a step. The Celtics played the Utah Jazz at the Garden Friday night and less than two weeks before that in Utah. Two Jazz players have tested positive for the rapidly spreading coronavirus. They include Jazz guard Donovan Mitchell. A fan at the Garden sent us this live photo of Mitchell touching fans. Also impacted center Rudy Gobert, who finished up a news conference last week by jokingly rubbing the microphones. Gobert sent out an Instagram saying he's sorry. Quote, I would like to publicly apologize to the people that I may have endangered. At the time, I had no idea I was even infected. I was careless and make no excuse. I hope my story serves as a warning and causes everyone to take this seriously. Jalen Brown says he agrees. First to say, I see a lot of young people making memes. I see a lot of young people making jokes, you know, and dismissing it. Maybe you might not be affected by it, but somebody else that you probably know will. Players touch often in the close of a game. Here, Tatum and Gobert make contact in the Jazz-Celtics matchup. As for Mitchell and Gobert, the Celtics say, quote, DPH has advised us that based on those players' health statuses during this period, it is unlikely that anyone from the team came into contact with them while they were contagious. The Utah Jazz practiced at an Emerson College gym during their visit last week during spring break. The college consulted Boston public health officials, and they've been told no immediate action is required at this time. They say employees gave the players their space. The Celtics say all of their players are going to stay isolated through the weekend, and all of them will be tested for exposure to coronavirus. In Boston, at the Garden, Jonathan Hall, 7 News 19. As the Celtics get tested, Governor Charlie Baker is pressuring the federal government to provide more assistance to help with coronavirus test kit concerns. We need much more testing capability, and we need the federal government to help us get there. What that means is we've been asking the federal government to support more places, both private labs and hospital labs, to run these tests. And we need the FDA and the CDC to act on these requests. The governor announcing today the state has the capacity to test 5,000 more people. He says labs are also able to process four times as many samples as last week, but health professionals expect more testing to take place. The coronavirus could impact the Boston Marathon. 7 News now learning the race will likely be rescheduled. The night team's Nathalie Pozo is in Boston with reaction from runners. And 7 News has learned that Boston city leaders are close to making a decision on whether or not they will postpone the marathon. 
plans for the Boston Marathon up in the air, but it's not stopping runners from continuing their training. It feels like a goal that was there and is lost. First-time marathon runner Maria Cousy is running in honor of her father, who ranked fourth in the Boston Marathon back in 1980. We still have the journey. We still have what we learned from it. We have each other, the memories we built throughout um, this cycle. And we can only hope for the best and stay safe for now. Seven News has learned the race will likely be rescheduled because of growing coronavirus concerns with a possible new date in the fall. Sources say city leaders, along with officials from the other communities along the 26.2-mile route, met Wednesday at City Hall to discuss plans for the marathon that brings in $210 million for the region and $35 million raised for charities. Unfortunately, this is the time when a lot of people are peaking in their training, meaning they're running their longest smiles and putting in sort of their longest efforts and hardest efforts and um, I think it's disappointing but I think everyone understands for you know public health safety reasons that this is the right decision to make. As the countdown continues for the 124th historic race, runners say this possible delay is a reflective time for them. In training, more preparation is better. So if we're going to look at a, a bright side of the challenges around a potential postponement, I look at my athletes who've been challenged right now and think they have a great opportunity to fill in the gaps. And an official announcement may be made as early as tomorrow. In Boston, Nathalie Pozo, 7 News 19. Other professional sports seasons suspended. The coronavirus outbreak affecting both the Bruins and the Red Sox. And both teams, they're responding tonight. The Bruins get to the 100-point mark before any NHL team. And that's where they'll stay for the foreseeable future, with the NHL suspending their season in response to the spread of coronavirus. Bruins president Cam Neely reacting in a statement, saying, quote, while we are disappointed to have the season put on pause, we respect and support the decision of the NHL. The health of our fans, players, staff, and all of our associates is paramount, and we are hopeful that we can continue the season when it is safe to resume. Star Center Patrice Bergeron also sharing his thoughts, writing in a statement, in a time like this, it is important we continue to listen to experts whose job it is to maintain the safety and well-being of the population until the issue stabilizes. That said, we hope the situation improves soon and we can resume our pursuit of the Stanley Cup. In the air and hammered to center. Major League Baseball is also on hold, canceling the rest of their spring training schedule and pushing the start of the regular season back by two weeks. The Red Sox releasing a statement which reads in part, we support Major League Baseball's decision to suspend spring training games and to delay the start of the 2020 regular season. We hope our fans and everyone across the country remain safe as we all work together through this challenging time. The Red Sox are literally closing their doors, shutting down tours of both Fenway Park and JetBlue Park until further notice. They're also issuing refunds to fans who bought tickets to spring training games affected by these cancellations. Stay with the news station for the latest on the coronavirus emergency. When we're not here on the air, you can always go to WHDH.com or check out the 7 News app. More news we're following tonight. A smoky scene in Lawrence as fire tears through a triple-decker. Many people forced out of their homes. Now we are hearing how one man helped the people inside that burning building. Here's the night team's Alex DePrado. All that's left of this Lawrence triple-decker is a burned-out shell, and we are hearing from a man who saw the fire from outside and rushed to the third floor and helped get two women out who were unaware the fire had ignited. Flames poured from the roof of this triple-decker in Lawrence. Wait, hey, The fire started on the second floor around 4.30 this afternoon. Louis Pantalone had just driven up to the building but knew he had to act. I wasn't scared, for real. So I feel that, like, the hot, on the, 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 the flames... He ran to the third floor with a Lawrence police officer and banged on the door of a sleeping relative. We break one door, the third floor, and the, and the, my kid's grandma. Two women were inside. Fuego. Entonces, de una vez yo le hice saber a los de arriba para que salieran. And rushed out just before the flames spread into their apartment. 
Firefighters say the densely packed neighborhood and tight streets made getting trucks into the area difficult. We had a little too difficult to get into the hydrants because everybody was trying to get out of our way, which actually slowed it down just a little bit. 18 people are being helped by the Red Cross, and while firefighters don't yet know what sparked it, Pantalone is grateful he was able to help get those inside out in the nick of time. Everybody out. Everybody out. But we're lucky that we, we did it. We saved it. Those people. The fire department is working with investigators again to try to figure out how this started, but they do know it sparked on the second floor. In Lawrence, I'm Alex DeBrado, 7 News 19. A judge approving a major settlement in the Merrimack Valley gas disaster, Columbia Gas, is set to pay $143 million to residents and business owners impacted by the explosions and fires. The settlement's approval comes only days after Columbia Gas pleaded guilty to causing the disaster. One person was killed and more than 100 buildings were damaged. A small plane going off the runway in Danvers. Sky 7 HD over that scene. You can see the aircraft collided with some trees. Officials say a student pilot was the only person on board and was not seriously hurt. Investigators are looking into the cause of that crash. A dump truck crashing into a building in Roxbury, Sky 7 HD, over that scene this afternoon along Hampton Street. You can see the damage done to the building, and here on the ground, uh, you can see some of the more damage revealed. The driver, by the way, was taken to a hospital. No one inside the home was injured. Next up at 11, JR standing by with a check of the forecast. JR. Kiki, tracking rain for tomorrow. Weekend forecast in a few minutes. Then an MBTA bus driver running straight toward a burning building. What she did that likely saved lives. And Tom Hanks and his wife Rita is sharing an update after they tested positive for coronavirus. <laughs> We're back tonight. In college, you were a tennis playing biology art major that went on to grad school. And now you're ready for the next part of your journey. Maybe you're ready to pursue